All right, so what we're doing today is we are going to try to get three in a row on Khan Academy on the activity titled Equivalent Systems of Equations. So before we start, I want you to understand this sentence right here. Equivalent systems of equations are system of equations with the same what? Solution. So two system of equations are equivalent if they have the same solution. So you for sure need to write that down. Okay, so let's look at this example right here. Okay, I'm going to read it to you real quick. Harry and Jenny's teacher gave them a system of linear equations to solve. So you can see Harry has his own system, and Jenny has her own system. And then the teacher's got a system. They each took a few steps that led to the system shown in the table below. Okay? Which of them obtained a system that is equivalent? Well, for me to tell if Harry's is equivalent to the teacher's, or if Jenny's is equivalent to the teacher's, I gotta solve the teacher's, and then I gotta solve whose? Harry's, and then I gotta solve Jenny's, and the and the ones that match the teacher's solution are equivalent. Right? So the easiest way to me to solve a system of equations is with elimination. And elimination is where you're either trying to get rid of the X or get rid of the Y. So let's get rid of the X. In order for me to get rid of the X, I'm going to multiply the top equation times negative 10 and the bottom equation times positive 3. Okay? And so that means I got to take this negative 10 and multiply it by all three terms. And I got to take this 3 and multiply it by all three terms. And so when I do the top equation, I get negative 30x plus 80y equals negative 110. And on the bottom equation, I have 30x plus 45y equals 15. And so now what I need to do is I need to add them up. And what you notice is when you add these two up, you get zero, don't you? which is good, so you eliminated the x. And so when I add up the y's, I have 125y equals, and then when I add up negative 110 and 15, I get negative 95. And now to finish solving for y, I'll divide by 125 on both sides. And so I have y equals, and I think this reduces to negative 19 over 25 when you type it in the calculator. And so what I have here is I've got y, but I don't have x. So let's take our y and plug it in for y into either of these equations. I'm going to plug it into the top one. So I've got 3x minus 8, and in place of y, I'm going to put negative 19 over 25. And that equals 11. And so I've got 3x... And negative 8 times negative 19 over 25 is a positive 6.08, and that equals 11. And so I'll subtract 6.08 on both sides. And so I have 3x equals what? Four point nine two, and then I'll divide by three on both sides, and so x equals what? Tell me it is a fraction. Forty-one over twenty-five. Forty-one over twenty-five. Now here's my x right here, and here's my y right here. Okay, and your your solution to a system of equations should always be expressed as an ordered pair, so I'm going to put my answer as 41 over 25 for the x value and negative 19 over 25 for the y value. Okay, so that's what the teacher got, right? And so now what we've got to do is we've got to solve Harry's and see if his answer matches the teacher's answer. Answer. So let's do that. Okay, in this one, I want to eliminate the x's again. So I'm going to multiply the top 
times negative 3 and the bottom times positive 2. So on the top equation when I distribute the negative 3 I have negative 6x minus 9y equals negative 3 and on the second one I have positive 6x minus 16y equals 24. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to add them up. And so these go away because they equal 0, and I have negative 25y equals positive 21. And I'll divide by negative 25 on both sides. And so I have that y equals negative 21 over 25. Now, is that what the teacher got for y? No. no, the teacher got negative 19 over 25. So we know that Harry's is not equivalent to the teacher's. Okay, so let's go over to Jenny's and let's solve hers. Okay, on hers, I want to eliminate the x's. Okay, so I'm going to multiply the top by negative 3 and the bottom by positive 13 and that will allow me to eliminate the x's and so when I distribute the negative 3 I get negative 39 X minus 21 Y equals what's negative 3 times 16 negative 48. negative 48 and when I distribute the 13 I get 39 X minus what? Minus what? 104. 104y equals 143. And so now what I need to do is add these up. Now these cancel because negative 39 plus 39 is nothing. And so I have negative 100 and, oops, 1, well let me erase it either. Yeah, well, negative 125y equals what? No, no, no. I'm asking you what negative 48 plus 143 is. 95. And so I'll divide by negative 125 on both sides. And then when you simplify it, you get y equals negative 19 over 25. Now, is that what the teacher got? Yes. Right here it is. Now, here you could work, you could go plug it back in if you want. But here's what I want you to notice. What is the teacher's top equation? It's 3x minus 8y equals 11, right? Mm -hmm. And what is Jenny's bottom equation? Same thing. Same thing. So it when we plugged this into the bottom equation for the teacher, I mean the top equation for the teacher, we got 41 over 25. Well, if we plug what we got here into the exact same equation for y, we're going to get the same output, aren't we? And so they're equivalent. Now, you can't just say, well, they both, this one has the same equation as this one, so they're equivalent, because the other one may, may mess up the answer, right? Mm -hmm. Let's review. If you're trying to tell if they're equivalent, right, you have to solve the teachers and then solve both students, right? And the ones that have the same solution as the teacher are what? Equivalent. Equivalent. So let's look at this one. Okay, same scenario. You've got a teacher equation right here. You've got Scarlett with this equation and Hansel with this equation. Okay, and what we want to know is which one of these two people are equivalent to the teacher. It could be both. Okay. So what let's do is let's solve the teachers first, right? Now, it looks really easy to me to eliminate y because if I just multiply the top times negative 7, it'll be the opposite of the bottom, won't it? So let's multiply the top equation times negative 7, and my result is negative 35x plus 7y equals negative 21. Now I'm not going to do anything to the bottom equation because it, it's already in good shape. 14x 
minus 7y equals 7. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these up. Negative 35x and 14x gives me negative 21x. The two y's eliminate, and it equals negative 14. And then I'll divide by negative 21 on both sides. And so I have x equals, is it two-thirds? Yes. So there's x. And now I can take that x and I can plug it into either one of these x's, can't I? Mm -hmm. Let's plug it in the top one. 5 times 2 thirds minus y equals 3. And so what that is is 10 thirds minus y equals 3. And so I'll subtract 10 thirds from both sides. And so I have negative y equals, what is 3 minus 10 thirds? Negative 1 third? Negative one third, and so then I'll divide negative one on each side. So y equals one third, right? Mm -hmm. So I've got my x and y, don't I? Mm -hmm. Now we always uh, display our answer as an ordered pair, right? Mm -hmm. So my ordered pair would be two thirds for the x and one third for the y. So there is the teacher's what. So now what I need to do is I need to go solve for scarlets and see if it matches, right? So let's solve scarlets real quick. Which variable on scarlets would you like to get rid of? Yeah, it really doesn't matter in this case. It's going to be the same amount of work, isn't it? If we get rid of the y, then we need to multiply the top times 7 and the bottom times negative 8. Okay. So let's multiply the top out. 7 times 19x is? So what is 7 times 19x? 133. 133x. And 7 times negative 8y is negative 56y, and that equals 70. Now let's do the bottom one. Negative 8 times 14x is? Negative 112. Is it 112 or 120? negative 112x uh, plus 56y, and that equals negative 16. And so now I'm going to add them up. Well, clearly the y's cancel. And so what is 133x minus 112x? 21x equals 70 minus 16. And when I divide 21 on both sides... X equals what? 18 over 7. What, what is it? Or it's 18 over 7, which is what is a decimal? 2.6. 2.6. Now, in our teacher problem, for X, we got 2 thirds, which is 0.66 repeating, right? Well, we didn't get the same thing for scarlet, so we can just say scarlet's is not equivalent. So now let's do Hansel's. Oops. And then it won't let me. So Hansel's right here, what do I need to do? Well, look, I don't have to do anything. I've already got a negative Y, and here i got a positive what? Y. So they'll just cancel when I add it up. 5X and negative 2X is 3X, and negative 6 and negative 1 is negative 7. Divide 3 on both sides, so X equals negative 7 thirds, but what do we need X to equal? Two-thirds. Well, this isn't two-thirds, is it? Nope. No, and so Hansel's is not equivalent either. 